Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, look at my eyes, y'all. Look at my eyes. Can you tell I am in love? Today, I am going to be reviewing the new Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. Now, this literally came on my front porch today, and I took it out the box and sat down to film. So, you know I was excited, and I cannot wait. I'm going to show you guys four different looks. I'm going to show you two looks showing you the other shades from the Star Wars palette. And then this look that I have right now, two different looks that I use just using the new shades. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload, I do reviews, I do tutorials, I do hauls, and I throw in a little bit of fitness because like the channel name says, we are beauty and strength. And I want to show you guys how being beautiful and being strong can go together. So if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I have a little surprise for you guys. Today is not only about the new Celestial Divinity palette, but I also picked up some other goodies a couple weeks ago. Um, I believe there was a 25% off sale, something like that, but whatever. I was on the website, I got notified of a sale. So there's a couple other things that you're gonna see in this video. But we know you're here for the palette, so we're gonna do a bit of a comparison. Now, I was fortunate enough to get the two limited edition Star War palettes. I bought the set, so I do have both of them and these were sold out so i've never showed them on my channel and didn't think i'd ever be able to but i was just happy that i got them and when i got them they were both smashed so customer service was awesome they ended up just giving me credit for them and i pressed them back into the pans so this is the dark galaxy palette in the red now, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I've never watched an episode of Star Wars. I don't care about Star Wars, I just wanted the palettes. This is purple, pink, gold, you see the colors there, absolutely beautiful. And then the other is the Galactic Gold. And so, as you, I, I think you can see in here, my colors are a little mixed because some of the color kind of, when it broke, it got into the others, but I just wiped them off and they work fine. So, these are what the palettes look like separately. I have to admit, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't do my research. I just saw Pat McGrath palette and I was like, yes, boom, on it, 9 o'clock in the morning, 10% off, bam, I got it. I didn't realize till I looked at Kinky Sweat Alicia's review of it that this is 18 shadows and 12 of the shadows are the ones that are in the Star Wars collection. So the only ones that are new for me are the middle six shades. Now if you don't have the other ones this is great for you. You get to try the ones that were limited edition. It is smaller pans and you get to try the new shades. This is what the new palette looks like. I mean, there is no question about it. This is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, this one now has two more greenish gold colors in the middle. So this kind of reminds me of one of the Divine Rose 2 colors. This is somewhere probably close to something in another palette. So I'm really struggling with if I'm going to keep it or not. But I am a bit of a collector. So I feel like I need to at least give it a try. I'm probably going to keep it. I ain't even going to lie, but I will say I'm a little disappointed. So I am going to show you guys side by side how these palettes are laid out for you to see that they are exactly the same. So this is Galactic Gold, and this is literally the same as the first six shadows in the new palette. Same way laid out everything. So the pans are just smaller, but same exact colors. Names are the same. Everything's the same. And then on the other side, same exact setup. Everything is lined up the same. Side by side, everything is the same. So, yeah, that's what we're working with. 
So do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. If you've not wanted to spend $125 for 10 shadows in her bigger palettes, and you feel like you're not really getting enough with her quads and even still four shadows are $65 normally. So 78 bucks, 18 shadows. This is a great deal. It just sucks if you're like me and you have both of them. Either way, I'm going to show you what else I have and we might be able to play in those items as well. So during the other sale that happened, I guess it was a month or two ago. I don't know, guys. I just kind of put it in a bag and I was saving it for a high-end haul and then I stopped buying other stuff. So this is one of her other quads. This is the only one I didn't have. And this is the Iconic Illumination. And originally I wasn't going to get this one because I was just like, this is so plain and so much like colors you wear every day, don't spend your money on that. But then I was like, you have the other two, why not? Get this one, and this is the most wearable and the one you'll probably wear the most, so it'll be fun to have it. So I picked that up. Then I also picked up her concealer. Now I did buy her concealer already during her friends and family sale over the summer. But the shade I have is entirely too gold. Like I can't wear it for anything else other than maybe eyeshadow base. So when it went on sale, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet. And I'm going to get another one that actually matches that I can use for highlighting. So I ended up getting the shade M17, which is this. And I think it is going to be perfect. It looks a little light, but this is going to be good for my under eyes. Then I also picked up one of her singles, which I hope this is not, <laughs> I hope this isn't in any of the palettes. I picked up the single Synthetica, which is this gorgeous purple. Y'all, if I don't ever buy another purple shadow again, I will still have too many of them. But as I've said several times before, that is my absolute favorite color. So it was on sale for $12.50. So this is what the shadow looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's some pink reflect in there, some blue reflect. I'll go ahead and swatch it. That is so pretty. So that is what the shadow looks like. So of course, you know, something I will definitely get some use out of. And then I finally got my hands on the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. It had been sold out forever and it came back in stock. I got the medium and I wanted to be able to use it under my eyes after highlighting. So I wanted to see what all the hype was about. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good color. It's a nice neutral kind of beige very smooth very very smooth has a like the tiniest tiniest little sheen on it yeah you can see that so i think that's going to be great to set my under eye with so i'm happy that i finally got that and then the last thing that i picked up and this was before she came out with the highlighter that's with the gift set, which is sitting in my cart right now. I don't know if I'm going to get it, to be honest with you. I was thinking about it, but it's $65 for one. And I'm like, well, you just bought the trio. So do you really need to buy one when you already have this? So this is the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. Yes, this is what the shades look like. And then I will also show you swatches of this real quick. And then we will get into the eyeshadow tutorial. So the first shade is Iridescent Pink 003. Ooh, okay. That's what this looks like. Ooh, that is really pink. That didn't look like that on my finger at all. Okay. That is very interesting and it's smooth. Then the next one is Fine Gold 003. It's the one in the middle. These are not looking like they do in the pan at all. Like look at how yellow that comes off. 
that is so pretty and I don't have highlighter on right now so you know I'm gonna have to put it on and then the last one is bronze nectar 003 this one looks like it does in the pan it is bronze that's the only one that's like true to color so those are the shades there this is the bronze wow I mean those are beaming so now that makes me want to like kind of try the other ones. Okay, I don't know. Stay where we at right here, Barbara. Focus. Already putting more stuff in your cart. All right, so now let's dive in to the eyeshadow palette. I'm thinking I'm going to do three looks for you guys today. I'm going to start off focusing mainly trying to do the two palettes from the previous release, one on each eye and then finish with the six shades in the middle since those are the new shades on both eyes. So we'll see how it goes. But I am going to start with the Dark Galaxy side. So that is this six shades over here. And I'm gonna try to only use those shades. So we are going to start off with Venomous Void, which is the dark kind of pinkish purple. My eyes are already set and primed. I use my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna start off with Venomous Void right in the crease. And as you can see, I didn't put like any really bright color to help the pigment show because I wanna see how these look on just like a normal everyday look. So as you can see, a lot of payoff out the gate, which we already know Never an issue with Pat McGrath shadows. And then the rest of the shades are shimmer. So I'm gonna go in with Saturna Saturnalia. Yeah, and it's this red color up here. And I'm going to put that on my lid. I'm not gonna wet my brush or anything yet. I just wanna see how this is gonna apply on its own. And I'm just gonna pat very very pretty color I know I can get the payoff more if I use my fingers so I will do that just to show you I'm gonna go in with my finger now oh yeah look at that And then I'm going to take Cosmic, which is this color here, and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. It's a little more pinky with a little bit of gold to it. So you can see the color difference there. And just blend those two together and then on the outer crease I'm going to take smoked amethyst which is this dark purple and I know this is a shimmer but I'm gonna see how it works as I would use a matte and just try to build it up I know that was the concern for a lot of people that there weren't that many mattes in here and feeling like maybe you wouldn't be able to get a complete look but the way these all blend together like this is blending out so nice and it looks like a matte it doesn't look like a shimmer so i'm gonna go back in the reddish color on my lid and just kind of put that to help blend And then I'm going to take my finger for Cosmic and just try to get a little brighter here. There we go. And just blend that into the other colors. And then I'm going to go back with Venomous Void around Smoked Amethyst to just help blend that out. And now to finish my bottom lash line, I'm going to take Smoked Amethyst. And then I'm going to take 
Saturnalia the red. I'm just wiping off my brush and then I'm going to go in with Cosmic or Inner Corner. And then I'm going to come back with Venomous Void and just smoke out my bottom lash line. So there you have the first look. I want to deepen up. Let's see if we can deepen this up just a little bit. Yeah. So there you have our first eye and that is the side from Dark Galaxy. And then I'm going to do the other side and then I'll put on liner and lashes. So now from Galactic Gold, we do not have a matte on this side. We have Corruption, which is this kind of purple color. It's kind of a duochrome. It looks like it has some gold in it. We're going to start with that in the crease and see how that works. I'm going in with different brushes. That is not, where is this paint coming from? Look at that. This is a duochrome. Because this does not look like what's in the pan at all. These bangs. Okay, well that throws my look for a loop. Do you see that? It's like pink here and then it's darker out here. Okay, then we're going to take galactic gold and just put that on the lid. I'm being very careful to make sure that I press these shadows into my eye first so that I don't have a lot of fallout. I'm going to go in with my finger. much better I mean we all know that's the story for most shimmer shadows that they look better with your finger so this is not taken away from Pat in any kind of way that is so pretty okay so now to deepen things up I kind of want it to stay away from purple but looks like I don't have much of a choice if I'm just using that side, this shot, this is also a duochrome. I don't know if you can see the center shade. You actually can see a bit of a shift here. So we're going to see what that looks like. Trying to deepen my crease. Because I did not want that pink, but that's what we got. Yeah, this side is definitely a bit harder to get a more complete look with, but I like how this looks. I'm going to go back in with that first shade. That started off throwing us for a loop. And then just a little bit more of galactic gold and I'm going to bring that into all the way into the inner corner and then I'm going to come back with the other gold which is gold standard and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the outside part here to blend in just so you guys can see what that color looks like. Yeah that is definitely more yellow gold.
And then I'm gonna take a clean buffing brush and just go around the edge to smooth that out. And now I'm gonna finish my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna do what I normally do. And I'm cleaning off my brush with my color switch every time because I don't have a lot of smudger brushes. So I'm gonna start off with the one we thought was gonna be a dark brown, Corruption. That's crazy, I did not see that color coming like that. I have that other palette and I don't think I've ever used that color. Now going in with Electron. And then I'm gonna finish with gold standard on the inner part here. And when we pretty much have like all shimmers on this eye. But that's all right. So this is both eyes. This is what I came up with. I'm gonna put on liner and lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back and I have my lashes on, I have my liner on, and then for my lipstick, I do have a Pat McGrath lip liner. I have the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in ground control, so it's kind of like a brown. And then I use the color, I have these three minis that I got in a gift set. And I used the darkest shade that came in this set, and this one is Flesh 3 Lipstick. And then I'm going to show you guys these highlighters. So I'm thinking, just to see the difference, I'm going to do the pinkish one on this side, since this eye, yeah, I think it'll go better on this side. So... Let's just see how that looks. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the pink in that. Look how pretty. Wow. That is insane. Like it's pink, but when I'm facing you straight, you don't see it. And then when I turn, you just see slight dew glow okay <laughs> oh i'm in love okay let me get a different brush and then i'm gonna go in with the second one that was kind of like the greenish gold i'm not gonna use the bronze one yet no i'm gonna use the bronze one now and then i'm gonna use the greenish one for my final look on both sides so this is what the bronze one looks like it just looks like they're melting into my skin. Like I don't have to worry about feeling like it's not blended. And even I don't feel like this is highlighting any of my texture. Look how much I'm glowing. Y'all, I'm a bite out of the highlighter. I know it. I know I am. Ugh. Pat, why you do this to me? I'm not gonna put any on my chin. Ooh, Lord. Y'all look at my face. So I'm gonna come closer so you can see the eyeshadow by itself. All right, so that's it for this look. Both eyes, different palettes the galactic gold and the dark galaxy palettes you now have in this one this is the look i came up with i'm going to take this off and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to do another look just with the center shades that are the new shades i'll be right back all right i know i look a little crazy but i took off my under eye concealer and there's nothing on my eyelids either because i want to use the concealer and the powder that i showed you to see how those work 
So again, I got her concealer in M17 and I am just going to use my concealer brush and I'm gonna also use this as my eyeshadow base. And I took the bottom off because I also said that I wanted to show you guys how the other highlighter looked. So this is pretty. Look how smooth my under eye is right now. I'm so glad I got this in the right shade because before it was the one I have is just sitting and I was disappointed because it's not cheap. I don't have money like that for my products just to be sitting like I don't need to use them. But as you can see, that made my under eyes absolutely flawless. I can't tell you the last time I put a concealer on and was just like, wow. And then I'm going to take the medium sublime perfection blurring under eye powder and I'm just going to use my powder brush that I normally use. And I am gonna go in with this lightly because as we saw earlier, this is light. And it looks like it has a bit of a sheen to it. Whoa, a lot of kick up. So when you dip in this, dip very gently. As you can see, like, I don't know if y'all can see the powder that's coming up off my brush. Oh my God, that is pretty. Oh my goodness. The way this is coming up though, I feel like you would just go through this powder so fast. This is so pretty. What pores? Let me see how this looks on my nose. Definitely trying to have a light hand with this. I'm sure if you use too much of it, it can look cakey, but I think this looks so good. Let's get back to the eyes. So now we're gonna go back in with the middle shades. And again, these are all new shades. I'm going to start off with the pink. And that one is called Venetian Orchid. So that's this color here. And I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy brush and put that in the crease. All right, so now some of the colors may overlap though, but that's all right. Do we wanna do the purple all over the lid? No, we're gonna do the greens. We're gonna do both greens on opposite lids. Yes, that is the final answer. So the first green is called Dragonfly. And this is what it looks like. And then the second green is called Megabyte. And that one is more of an olive shade. So we're going to go with the first green, Dragonfly, and we're gonna put that all over the lid. You know what, I'm just gonna start with my finger. I was gonna take a brush, but Ooh, look at that sh Guys! I'm keeping this palette. I don't know who I was trying to clown or kid or whatever at the beginning when I said I didn't know because I low-key was living for this shade. I mean, am I paying $78 for like six shades? Basically. But... Look at that color. I 
It's giving me so many different shifts. Okay, we're going to use the brown. I'm probably going to use that on both sides just to add a little depth. See how dark this comes off. If we can build it up. has some depth to it, but it's not too, too dark. I feel like it is a very, very, very good blend with Dragonfly. And I'm gonna go back around the edges with Venetian Orchid. And then I'm going to take the gold which is Lunar Champagne. And I'm sorry, the name of the brown I used was Major Mahogany. But we're gonna go in wrong brush with Lunar Champagne and use that in our inner corner. I'm gonna wet my brush just because this color, it's a loose, like it's not really sticking to the brush. I feel it falling on my face though. I mean, you can see it. I got a little fallout, but that's all right. All right, I'm gonna do my bottom lash line. Take major mahogany and just smoke that out. I don't know about y'all, but I would wear this during the day. Like I'll wear this to work, like no question about it. And then smoke it a little lower with Venetian not say the wrong name Barbara orchid and then inner V with dragonfly y'all look at that color so that's what we're doing for this eye now for the other side I'm not going to use Venetian Orchid. We are just going to stay with Major Mahogany and I'm going to start off with it light as a crease color but then build it up deeper to make it look like it's two different shades. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush to get the crease darker. Still using Major Mahogany, nothing else. It's coming out a lot deeper than it looked like it was over here. Okay, liking that. All right. Megabyte feels like it's going to play nice with a brush, so we are going to do that. I just like how it looks with my finger better. I do this every time. Dirty brushes for no reason. I mean, that's pretty still, but watch when you use your finger. Bam! That's how it's supposed to look. Oh, I love it. <sighs> Y'all know how I am about greens. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it goes so well with that color. I'm going to take a little bit just to use more shades of that purple Fuchsia Shock. And we're going to try to use that to help kind of blend these two together some. Yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And now I'm going to go back with Major Mahogany. And I'm just going to run that back in the crease.
This is building up a lot more than I thought I would. That makes me happy. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and go back around the edges. Now see how that looks like almost two different colors? If I can get these bangs out the white. All right, so now we're gonna do bottom lash line. I'm gonna sweep this halfway through and then I'm gonna take Fuchsia Shock. I'm going to go in with Megabyte. I think we're just gonna leave that as our inner corner color too. I am in love with this color. Pat is taking $78 from me for two colors, these two colors. Wow. All right, so now For the face, I told you guys I wanted to see what that middle highlighter looked like. So we're gonna do that now. So this is going to be the shade Fine Gold 003. And I cleaned off my highlighter brush. So right now, this is just my skin, her powder, nothing else. That is definitely gold. But again, absolutely gorgeous. It's just crazy because looking at it from the side, you'd be like, oh, that's too dark. It's not going to blend and it's going to look crazy from the front, but you don't see it at all until you turn. And this is the middle shade I'm dipping in here. And that is what is giving us this shine. I'm so glad I took the others off so you guys could see this if you were thinking about getting these. And then just because I want to see because I know with her other palettes with the Divine Rose you could use the colors as a blush. I'm going to try to use Venetian Orchid as a blush. just to help blend everything together. Pan is a little small, but it's coming. Guys, look at that shine. Oh, I'm gonna go spend $65 for that other highlighter. Damn it, man. All right. I'm gonna finish the rest of my eyes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I literally have like no words. I feel flawless. I feel like my skin looks absolutely amazing. That powder under my eyes, the highlighter, this eyeshadow, just look, okay? Just look, that's, that's all I can say. Like, this is insane. I'm in love. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the shades for you guys real quick because I didn't do that earlier and I realized not everybody has the palette. So I want you to be able to see all of the shades. So I'll start off first with Dark Galaxy and I'll show you all six of those and then I'll clean off my arm, do the middle six and then do Galactic Gold. So we will start with Saturnalia and Bronze Nebula. All right, this is Saturnalia, which you saw me use earlier. Then this is Bronze Nebula. Then we have Venomous Void and Odyssey, which I did not use Odyssey earlier. This is Venomous Void. And then we did not use this shade, but this is Odyssey. So 
you see those there. And then we have Cosmic and Smoked Amethyst. So here is Cosmic. And I'm gonna do Smoked Amethyst on the inside of my thumb. Fingers are big enough. So those are the shades from Dark Galaxy. If you don't have that palette, these are the shades you will be getting. Okay, so next we will show Galactic Gold and I'll start off with Saturnalia. No, lies. I'll start off with Gold Standard and Violet Void. So this is Gold Standard and this is Violet Void. Then we have Bronze and Electron. So this is Bronze. And this is Electron. And then lastly, we have the shade that threw me for a loop, Corruption and Galactic Gold. This is Corruption here and then galactic gold so those are the shades from the galactic gold palette and then last but not least our middle shades are major mahogany and lunar champagne so this is major mahogany this is Major Champagne. Then we have Fuchsia Shock and Megabyte. So here is Fuchsia Shock. Here is Megabyte. And then we have Dragonfly and almost had it, Venetian Orchid. <laughs> So this is Dragonfly in love and Venetian Orchid. All right, that's it. Cause I could literally keep talking your ears off about this palette. If you don't have either of the other two palettes, definitely get this one, $78, smaller pants. If you don't think you'll use them a lot, it's still worth it to get. If you want to experience Pat McGrath shadows, there aren't anything like it, let's be real. Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, whole nother level. If you have the other two palettes already and you are not a collector, then you can probably skip out on this palette. If you are not a collector and you like those middle shades, think about it. If you're like me and you're a collector and you like those middle shades, get the damn palette. Life's too short, get the palette. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I love showing you everything and I love how this look turned out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please remember, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go enjoy my makeup. I'll see you soon. Bye.